What is going on YouTube? This is the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, Binding of Isaac came out, I'm not even sure how long ago it came out now. It's like at least two, three years nearly I think. But um, really, really, really well made game. It's like a randomized roguelite dungeon crawling type of deal. Um, I got a random hero here to get us started. Um, but yeah, really, really good game. And we got Isaac. Get in the box! Um, but yes, Rebirth came out not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. And it's really, really good. They've added a lot, they've fixed up a lot of problems with the game. Um, like technical issues. The game used to have terrible um, frame rate issues, and now it's like a smooth, smooth 60, 60 frames per second, even for me. Um, I'm sorry if I sound really weird right now. I actually went to the dentist this morning and like the right half of my tongue is still numb. So I kind of have like a lisp thing going on and it's really hard to talk. But I wanted to do a video uh, today. We've got nothing on. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and make a video. Then I'm going to sit out in the sun for a little while because it's a really nice day. But uh, yeah, my name is Isaac Rebirth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on sale at the moment on Steam. Um, the Explorer sale, whatever the hell they're doing at the moment. Um, but yeah, it should be about 10 bucks I think at the moment. I think it's 15 for the full game. Uh, it's ex like definitely worth that amount of money. The amount of replayability and hours you can put into this game is pretty much pretty much limitless. I think I only had like. Well, I say only, but I had like 70 hours in the original Binding of Isaac, and that cost like $5. Um, so yeah, the randomized nature of this game and how it all works just means you can you can play it for it forever. And once you get into it and start learning things, um, it can be really, really enjoyable uh, to get these sort of ridiculous combinations of items and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to actually go back here because we haven't found our item room. Um, if you know absolutely nothing about the game, each floor has an item room and a shop and a boss room and then a couple of others that can show up randomly. So this is our item room on the left. So we want to get in there, obviously, because we want to get an item. It can be a spacebar item or a passive. Our uh, spacebar, spacebar items generally have like a recharge time. So if you complete three, four rooms of combat, then your item will recharge, or, you know, it's different amounts for different items. Uh, we picked up a two of diamonds tarot card there, that doubles our current money. Our current money is zero, so it's not really worth using. It'll, it'll give us two cents. Um, pick up fat protector, which isn't amazing, but, you know, it's better than nothing. It's not the worst, the worst item. Um, Speaking of items, with Rebirth, there are, I think there's like close to 300 items or something now, something ridiculous like that, um, which is, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of insane when you think of about that many items and that, like how many you can get on a run and just the possibilities with this game are pretty much endless, there's some crazy, crazy shit that is always um, going to happen, not always going to happen. I'm rambling a little bit. I've never tried to play this and talk at the same time, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. Um, so yeah, if we're getting close, we can get our, our big fat fly to do some damage, but it's a little bit risky on this guy, because of stuff like that, he'll jump straight into us. So we'll just sit back and uh, passively shoot him down here. But uh, yeah, really, really good game, definitely suggest picking it up if you like what you see or if you like sort of randomized I don't know what else to call it, just randomized gaming basically. It is quite tough and when you don't get sort of good items the game can be very very hard and you will like lose plenty of runs and die. Um, as for like the... I should have taken that pill and then picked up that card. Oh well. Um, the length of each run varies greatly. It can be sort of anywhere from like a 20 minute just blaze through to like an hour sort of depending how far into the game and what you've unlocked. Um, so we picked up the caffeine pill there which is why our eyes are going crazy. Uh, but that'll give us 
Makes like a shot speed up and it tears up. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to be completely honest. Okay, so I'm gonna want to find out item room ASAP. Okay, uh, trinkets. Petrified poop gives us a better chance to get drops from shooting poop, I believe. But yeah, there's a lot of little mechanics and things in the game that you'll want to, that you'll get to know, and just it's basically more stuff that. Um, more randomized stuff that plays in and like interacts with each other. Um, you'll see here this rock is di different color. It's a tainted rock, tinted rock, whatever you want to call them. Uh, cancer. Good trinket. Very good trinket. Like, doubles our um, fire rate. Um, we should pick up the poop and shoot the poop though. While we're here. Yeah, I like I went to the dentist this morning and it was I had to get a couple of fillings because like I didn't go to the dentist for like two years, so I'm like in, in catch up mode for slacking off basically. Um, but yeah, I had like a couple of fillings at the back of my back right side of my mouth and like half my tongue and it's almost like half my throat is numb, so it's like really. I don't know, it's like affecting my voice and my swallowing and <laughs> everything still. So that should go on. Go away in a couple of hours, but very weird. Very, very weird. I'll take a pool. I found pills. That's completely useless for us as far, as far as I know. I don't think it does anything at all. Makes us makes us make the derp sound. Um, these enemies are a lot more annoying in rebirth. I changed the eye. Um, the IE, the AI in, in them, that played around with it. I find them a lot more annoying than this. But uh, as far as difficulty is concerned, I've heard a lot of people say that they think Rebirth is easier, but I, I don't know, this, this has been kicking my ass, I reckon it's harder, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's all up to the random number generator at the end of the day. Um, well, it's not all up to that, but it's it's mostly up to the random number generator. I hate these guys. I will almost certainly take damage. In this room. What if I concentrate? Right. Can he do it? Alright. That was easy. Just gotta concentrate. Uh, we've got our boss room over here. I can't get to those pills without two bombs. I need two bombs to get to them. Um, might as well fight the boss now. Larry Jr. Um, we should... There's another tainted rock there. I'm gonna put that down. We're lucky, yes, we were. Get some extra damage in. Yeah, I've had some... I had a couple of really ridiculous runs in this so far, and it's just so enjoyable when it happens. Oh, I'm trapped in the poop. God damn it. HP and lock up. No deal with the devil or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, well, I'm going to say this right now. You'll know if this is a good run or not, because if it's a good run, then you'll, you'll, you'll be watching it. You'll see it. But if it's not a good run, then I'm just recording this for nothing. So, just for funsies. Um, so we're going to go back and explore the rest of the floor. Maybe guess where our secret room is. It's guess either to my left here or to my right. Most likely. Um, yeah. No, we just like have to take a pure guess. Do I have Curse of the Maze? I think I do have Curse of the Maze. That's why I've been tripping out. See, this would have been a good room to still have Petrified Poop on, but... I'm not gonna go back and get it. Especially think I, since I think that was on the last floor, not this floor. We're gonna shoot this poop. Uh, board. We're gonna shoot all of it. Alright, left or right? We'll go right. Right is right. Yes! Right is right. We won. Um, we got plenty of keys, so we'll open that. Goathead! Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
this uh, basically gives us, a, I'm not sure if it's 100% guaranteed, but it gives us a much higher chance of getting a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel after after we fight a boss. So on the next floor, hopefully we'll be able to swing a deal, because we do have, uh, oh, well there you go, we've got one in here now, and we're fighting Krampus. Uh, what was that? I have no idea what that was. Alright, our damage is pretty lackluster at this early stage, but as things go, we'll, uh, we'll be able to amp it up, especially now that we've got Goat Head, we'll be able to swing some, uh, deal with the devils in the future, get some damage. Because um, we have decent health, we've got four red hearts. One of the big changes between um, the old Isaac and Rebirth is that there's, there's now a, a HP limit that's... You're limited to 12 hearts on the screen. Whereas you used to be able to just keep going and going and going and you just... Like with certain combinations of items that just leads to you just winning. Because you can just have unlimited health basically. Uh, the item we just picked up, Krampus's head, is really really good. Uh, probably hated by a lot of people who watch Binding of Isaac videos because everyone picks it up because it's amazing. <laughs> It'll probably get nerfed in the future. It's really really strong. Um, You'll see when I use it. I'll use it here, actually. So yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it just destroys everyone. Lots and lots of damage, and it's only a three-room recharge. So, pretty good stuff. We should be able to make something of this run from now. We've got the makings of some... Uh... I'm not sure what's causing that. Oh, it's the, pe the, the baby. I forgot what it's called already. God. Whenever that gets hit, I think that that procs the Necronomicon effect on the room. Uh, so these bomb flies are scary as shit. Try not blow myself up. One more hit, I think should do it. There we go. Um, might as well just look look to see what's in the shop. Giant spiders and giant flies is the 15 cent item. Uh, I'm not really too worried about any of that just yet. I might go back and donate if we get a little bit more money. Um, I'm trying to like talk about things without explaining everything, but like there's there's basically there's too much in this game to explain within one single video. It's just more of a something for me to record and something for you to suss out. You know, like something that you may like. Um, being that most of my videos are college of videos, it's probably something that very few people will like, but you know. I uh, I didn't mention before the um the creator of this game, Edmund Edmund McMillan. That's really hard for me to say right now, okay? I'm not I'm not retarded, it's just hard to say right now. <laughs> um Yeah, one of the guys that uh, made Super Meat Boy, which is like pretty much my favorite game of all time. I think that game is just 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 about flawless like in, in the way it's been made and designed and everything. Um, in the meantime we're taking retardedly bad damage so I'm actually gonna go back and buy that red heart and then we'll fight the boss. Um, we might search for the item room first because we're still flooring around the caves. There shouldn't be too many rooms left to explore so we might as well go uh, search around just to uh, save on time a little bit I guess. Like I said these runs can get kind of long in the tooth um, but usually if that happens it's like worth it or it's a close run or you've at least like gotten to the end of the game so Big fan of our damage right now. Hopefully be able to get a damage upgrade after the boss fight. There are thankfully a lot more damage upgrades in um, Rebirth, I found. What is that? Okay, we've got another attack fly. I like the attack flyers, because uh, you just sort of pay attention to where you're shooting. You can actually do a lot of damage with them. These guys are annoying. Hit. Oh, no, two more. I'm an idiot. Die! Okay. And we'll just clear out the surrounding rooms. 
just in case we uh, get a nice random drop or something, some health, whatever. So yeah, you can see the fly just goes to work when you get it on top of them. Uh, I should probably go to the... Whatever the hell it's called, the curse room. We are using the the Northern Line lingo <laughs> for Binding of Isaac, in case you hadn't realised. That's, yeah. These are the only videos for this game that I watch next to the, the best videos that I've seen, I reckon, so definitely go check him out if you like the game. And for somehow you play a lot of this game and you haven't heard of him, so... Oh! It took some damage. Oh, I forgot we have that, which I probably should have used straight away, and we would have not taken any damage. Okay, we actually got to deal with the angel, which is interesting. Considering... Oh, I suppose we fought Krampus last time. So generally, if you get to deal with the devil, um, that's actually really good with our, our big fly. Um, generally, if you get it like, take a deal with the devil, uh, you'll, you won't be able to get a deal with the angel afterwards. But uh, because we fought Krampus and we didn't actually make any deals, um, we uh, got to deal with the angel, which is pretty nice. Um, did I pick up the item? Yeah, I did. Well, Guardian Ax Angel doesn't look to be working like it normally does, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Or maybe they changed it. I, actually, I don't think I've had that yet in Rebirth, so... It used to, like, double the speed of your... The rotation of, like, your familiars around your body. Which, like, blocked shots and made it really hard for you to get hit. Um, already spawning next to the... I don't know, that's... Number one. Okay, so we've got mad fire right now with number one in cancer, but we have no range. And that pillar's lemon party, which I probably should have used on another room. I really hate these guys. These guys just wreck. They fire so so quick. They um just turn on you really, really quickly. Oh, uh, this is kind of a scary room. Might leave a bomb down there. Uh, killed one. Not fantastic. Uh, I will go to this. Troll bomb! No thank you. Spiders, that was not worth it. Oh well. Whatever. Moving on. Okay, so our boss room is going to be like up, 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 up. Because it's not this way. The Hermit, that takes us to the shop from memory. I kind of, I've honestly forgotten a lot about this game because I pretty much stopped playing it a long time ago um, after the Wrath of the Lamb came out and then I've only really just got back, back into it when Rebirth came out. So, sort of familiarizing myself with all the items and shit again. Because there's, like I said, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to learn and what to uh, remember. I probably should use Krampus' head on that room. It would have been worth it. It's just here. Whatever. Uh, what's in our shop room? We don't really, haven't really been going very well for money on this run, so shops have kind of been a no, a no go. Uh, we can't go to the boss trap room. You can only go to the boss trap room when you have one, one health, one red heart. That is. Um, otherwise, I think if you have spirit hearts, you can go to it. Or oh, you have to have one red heart, but you can have spirit hearts on top of that to uh, sort of make yourself a bit safer when you go in. These guys are pretty annoying too. They take a bunch of hits and they um, never seem to stick their head up when you want them to. Okay, so our damage is alright now. It's still, it's all fire rate, it's no actual damage, so hopefully we can get something soon. Please die. Thank you.
These guys, if you shoot them while they're down, they uh, they won't pop up for ages, basically. So you just got to stop shooting them. Bait it out. Not sure. Anyway, just have enough range to kill these guys. That's really dumb. Get a bomb. Is that else? Nah, that can't be our secret room there. Alrighty, we've got Crypt's head charged up. We'll fight the boss after this. We might go back and look for a secret room somewhere. Pill. Uh, where else can... Oh, there's heaps of places it could be. Not gonna worry about it. Yep. Crampers' his head. Good item. <laughs> As you can tell. You're not generally gonna be one-shotting bosses. <laughs> So, alrighty, deal with the devil, Guppy's Tail, and Book of Belial. Not fantastic for us, really. Why did I just get a pill? Oh, I dropped two. I'm an idiot. What was this? That was I found pills. That's Lemon Party. And that's a health up. Okay, we'll take Guppy's Tail. And we'll move along. Guppy's tail increases the chance of golden chests appearing. Um, so it's a really good item if you have a lot of keys, basically, and you can get a lot, of, a lot out of it. But it can kind of, kind of screw you if you don't have the keys. And we're sort of, we have a few, but we don't. By no means do we have a lot. So hopefully we can get our hands on a few more, and we'll be sitting in a good spot. Good position. Position. Ah, oh, come here so I can kill you. Well, that was not worth it. <laughs> God. Payout from the chest. Uh, extremely varied. Um, I'm gonna take damage on this room, so I'm just gonna pop Cramp's head. Which I would have got hit, I can guarantee it. These guys again. Freaking Q bones, my god. And again! Oh. Yeah, I was always taking damage. Okay, golden key. That's really good. That means uh, we won't use up any keys for the rest of the floor, basically. That gives us unlimited keys. And since we got Guppy's tail, we probably want to maybe look to pick up some other gu Guppy items later in the game. Um, if you're wondering who who the shit is Guppy, it's Edmund McMillan's cat. <laughs> Pretty sure, so... That's what it was based off. It's him and his girlfriend's uh, cat. It's pretty good. Um, so I'm hoping that we kind of run into something that I haven't seen this run. That would be a good sort of example of what this game can do. Um, everything so far I've sort of... Uh, uh, that's definitely worth using Krampus' head on. Those enemies are assholes. There's a giant room next though, so... Maybe it wasn't worth it. Go back this way now. Ooh, points, oh my god. I probably didn't have to get that there, but uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Slightly inefficient play, but. That bad. Uh, we will open that because we got golden keys. Um, we should just pop that down there. Oh my god. Yeah, this does a lot of damage. This is actually a really good pill. Oh, these enemies are any. Oh, damn. Challenge up. 
I think our super fire rate's going alright right now, so we'll stick with that. And we got the poo room. God. Like I said, our damage is really quite lackluster at the moment, but we've got enough to sort of get by. Oh my god! See our, uh, our flies and shit to get a bit of extra damage in there. Got some golden poop, which means we might be able to get some money for a change. We haven't had any any money really drop it. Oh, we haven't really found any secret rooms. I haven't really looked for any secret rooms, so that's part of the reason we haven't been getting any any cashish. Ah, uh, there's still an enemy somewhere. There it is. And we got another golden chest, which is great on this floor. Give me all the golden chests you want, game. I will take them. Can sometimes snag a uh, a damage up or a space bar item out of them. Go check out our item room. Hopefully it's... what is that? Uh, I can't remember what that is. Whatever. Shielded tears. Okay, that's what it is. So basically, if our tears hit enemy tears, then our tears, like, destroy them. So this can be kind of good in the some of the later bullet helly kind of bosses. You can just sort of stand there and shoot straight at them and you can't be hit. <laughs> Which uh, I think that actually, I think I got shielded tears on my the last run I did. Uh, like yesterday I think was the last time I played this. But um... Alright, we've got a secret room potential down here and to the left. Nope, it's not there. Maybe here and to the left. Nope, could be to the right as well. There it is. Give me some money, please. Alrighty, we can go to the... We can definitely go to the shop now. And pick up something there, hopefully. Assuming that there's actually, like, a good item. Not just crap. Um, I think I need to... I definitely need to donate more to the donate machine in the shop, because... I feel like the items that I'm getting in there are still kind of shit, so... <laughs> um, I would use Krampus's head right now, but I think we're near the end of the floor, so I might just save it, save it for the boss. Oh, I just kind of wasted it in rage there, because I didn't want to take more damage. Okay, hopefully we... We might have enough time to charge it, especially if we fight greed in here, which we don't. Right, this is an Acropolis one. We have one more shop opportunity, so we might as well grab that. Uh, what's the pill? Balls of steel, two spirit hearts, worth it. And we're not going to have enough to charge up our Krampus's head, but whatever. Hopefully it's not some super asshole boss that I can't stand really close to, which could be kind of a problem. We uh, we've got a few bombs and stuff, so we should be able to wing it. It's the bloat. I hate the freaking bloat, but whatever. The trick with this guy is just to stand directly behind him because he can't do his asshole shots in that direction. Um, you want to check the creep here, like so. Oh, that's really bad. Oh my goodness. Just gonna jump up. So you see the, the fly damage is insane. The fly does so much damage. It's like such a waste if you don't use it. I'm freaking doing awful with the bombs right now. Uh, get the fly in there. Go fly. Just tank it. I don't care. 
Get me out of here. Okay, we got another health up. We got another deal with the devil because goat head. Uh, generally, if you don't get goat head, you have to sort of avoid taking damage on the bosses to get deals with the devil or with the angel. Uh, freaking not really getting some good deals here. This is kind of annoying. So it's like, ooh, <laughs> tempting. But we just picked up a health up. I shouldn't have picked up that health upgrade. Otherwise, I would get this. I think. Um. Tell you what, let's go full YOLO. Let's get all of this, and then we'll get nine lives again. This removes all of the health upgrades that we currently have, though. So we can get hit once now, pretty much. Um, it's probably a mistake to get this, but you know, whatever. I'm making a video, so risk it for the biscuit. Um, I found the secret room, didn't I? Yeah. I don't really know where the second secret room could be. That's much harder to find. Uh, so yeah, we've put ourselves in a, an interesting position here with some shitty play. But um, it might be worth it if we can find one more guppy item. We'll transform into guppy and we'll be able to fly and generate all these flies and shit. Um, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Ludovico technique. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. Okay, that's that's doing damage. I like it. Oh, what the hell. This run just got weird. So, I'm like controlling my, uh, my tier. I have like one giant tier and I just steer it with the... the the D-pad, the arrow keys. Oh, that's trippy as all hell. What the shit. Okay, this item must have some ridiculous like synergies with other items. Um, it's definitely worth blowing up the blue fires right now. Because they have a chance to drop spirit hearts. And spirit hearts will keep us alive at the moment. We only got one, that's kind of unlucky, but you know, it's not too bad. Um, I think I might just... I don't know how I didn't take damage then. This is so hard, what the hell? <laughs> My brain can't handle this at all. It's like trying to play freaking Meepo again. Okay, I guess that's, that's probably better for us right now, considering... The um, fire rate up is probably not going to do a whole lot for us anymore. Unless it like changes how often it hits them. I don't know. And because we've got the fear shot too, that's kind of good. That's alright. Uh, yeah, we'll use the bomb to get this. Could be worth it. It's not really worth it, but it didn't cost us anything, so. Got a bomb for a bomb. Oh my goodness. This is, this is going to break my head. I can't do it. Give us the guppy item. No, not a troll bomb. Ah, uh, that's... Is that mum's contact? Oh, mum's eye. Eye in the back of your head. That doesn't really work with this item, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that did functionally nothing. Um, I was hoping that was Mum's Contact, because that gives you like a freeze effect, and I feel like with this Ludovico technique, that'd just wreck. Um, so this is where the game, like, this is where people have fallen in love with this game. Just these ridiculous synergies in, in the items, just come up with these crazy things. And... It's just really enjoyable. It's just a fun game, you know. It's a it's a gamer's game if you like. Really, we need to probably use uh, Krampus's head a bit more, but oh my god, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Trying to move and not get hit and control the tear at the same time. Bit of moolah, not too bad. Um. Gotta remember to go to our shop because we had the steam sale. 
which means 50% off all items in the shop, which is pretty good. Let's pick at the shop. And we got greed, which is kind of shit. But whatever. Alright, we're actually doing really good damage now with this, so that's that's something, I guess. We got a shite load of money. Um can't really use it that much. I would really want to save my keys at the moment, because I know we have Guppy's. Guppy's tail, that's the one. No. Um, so we'll be fighting Mom. So we should probably go. Um, this is gonna be tough, actually. I might not even be able to do this without getting hit once. <laughs> might risk another room to see if we can get another Spirit Heart drop or something. Oh. I like these enemies, because they stay stationary. <laughs> I can deal with them. God. The, um, one of my very few complaints for the game so far, the map in the right hand corner can really be kind of a nuisance sometimes. It kind of gets in the way. Um, I wish you didn't drop it all right there. I'm going to drop a bomb, because I don't want to do the diagonal walk of death. And puberty. Life's a bitch. Well, that's that's a first. Okay, wow. Go gambling. <laughs> what the hell? Why are we getting so many spirit hearts? Oh, no. He's dead. What the hell? Did I miss something? What did we pick up? We just got three spirit hearts. <laughs> What the shit? Right. Money, 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 money. Oh, I'll gamble till we get to like 20 cents or something. Just because you can spend like a half an hour in here really easily. <laughs> it kind of just kills the momentum of the run. I think those three, three spirit hearts should hold us in good stead to beat the boss. We are just getting a ridiculous amount of money now. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, we may as well just play this once. To get more money. Yeah. Gotta walk away. Walk away. Don't get addicted. Uh, nearly took damage then. Golden chest. Of course, now that we don't need any of the money, the game's giving us heaps of it. I say we don't need it, but that's more that... There's less chance that we'll need it. Oh, I haven't found a secret now, have I? No. I'll just check down here to the left. Okay, it's not there. I have no idea where it'll be then. Uh, we will go and fight Mum. So the first time you, you boot the game, Mum will be your boss. Okay, so we did half of our health then, that's pretty good. It's gonna be really hard to get damage on. This is... Oh my god! This is really hard, my shot moves like super slow, so it's kind of hard to... My spatial awareness is really bad! Oh my god! I'm derping out so hard right now. I should probably try using the mouse, because I remember with Epic Fetus, you just like switch over the mouse, it's so much easier. You can just win the game with that item. Okay, you unlock something sticky. Um, I actually have the negative too. I only just unlocked the negative, so I'm pretty sure this means we can go further after Satan. Look, like we we might as well get it. We're not losing a whole lot, considering we have nine lives. 
and we'll just keep on keep on going keep on going I guess Big Bird Dota 2 not right now buddy not right now we've got a run on our hands not really what a, a inevitable loss <laughs> coming <laughs> Alright, I can't use my mouse. That's disappointing. <laughs> I would have been so happy if I could use my mouse. Alrighty. What's that? Trickle charge. That's actually kind of good for Krampus' head. More Krampus' head charges is more winning. Okay, more golden chests. So we've been lucky so far, we've had enough. Um, whatchamacallit. Oh, that actually. I can't go in there because it takes one. Ah! Oh, I just realized a whole bunch of terrible stuff. So basically, once you get down to the womb, uh, everything hits you for one entire heart rather than half a heart. So that pretty much means everything's going to one-shot us. Which means we're going to probably lose this run now, I'm going to say. Um, unless we get super lucky with something. Super greed. Not super lucky. I just realized that we can put this on top of him and it immediate blo immediately um, blocks everything that he shoots. Which is pretty good. The sun, we might pop this on the next room. Oh, oh, we might just sort of hold on to it until we need it. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. We've got a spirit heart. Good, good, good. No, oh, I hate these guys. Assholes. And that guy jumped up directly on top of us, which is nice of him. Um, sure, why not? Two keys, that was worth it. Not. I'm of that, the belief that the quicker you say not after something, the funnier it is. So, I'm sorry if that annoys, annoys you. <laughs> it's just, it's just how I work. Get this guy to eat bomb, not controlling my tear well at all. Oh my god, <laughs> this is such a struggle. Oh, uh, you have another one to kill, I think? Yep, double monster! Okay. Alright, you just stay there, buddy, and melt. Alrighty, one down. I like how he can put this over him and it just completely blocks all the shots before they even come out. Get dead baby to kill that guy. Not dead baby, headless baby. Following us around. Okay, no extra drops, which is shit. We lost our spirit heart, which is also shit. To summarize, everything is shit. Mini girdies, I do not like. Because the creep lasts for a half an hour. Alrighty. The ability to fly right now would be amazing. Um, but, you know, you can't always have what you want. And so once again we use Krampus' head and then there's a, a giant room next. Best, best damage <laughs> ever taken. Oh my goodness. So basically, I wanted to make sure that it got out. How does this even. No, I'm not taking bomb spraying. No. No, no. That item is just a no no. Especially when I have one health. Like. 
I'm just going to kill myself seven times and the game will be over. There's no fun in that, is there? Oh my god. Okay, so we should go take on the, the giant room while we get Krampus's head. We should probably be saving it for a boss about now because... Well, just because the boss will probably be kind of difficult. I don't know where my tear is. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that was actually the whole room. That's good. Hmm. I'm not sure that we're going to survive. Well, that that room for one, but much longer. I can do it, I believe. Just gotta be, uh, get the concentration face on. Get the game face. Alright, so these guys are easy. More rooms like this would be good. So would more spirit hearts. No spirit hearts. Ah! <laughs> Shot's so slow. Okay, we're gonna try and fight the boss. Mama Gertie. Who the fuck is Mama Gertie? Okay, I have not fought this boss before. Oh my goodness, okay. Going for the win. Please, no spikes in that corner. Yes, we survived. We got another deal with the devil. Man, if we didn't have Krampus's head, this run would just this would be over. Like, oh, I keep getting these shitty, shitty freaking deals. Sister Maggie, like, that'll kill me. But now my thinking is, I respawn. And then go back in and then get these two hearts, which is more useful. Alrighty, we'll keep going, I guess. I have no idea how we're going to beat Mum's heart, which I think is that up to it lives now. I don't think it's Mum's heart anymore, it's it lives. So it's a different fight. Curse of the Blind. So, any items that we by chance get to pick up, we won't be able to tell what they are. I think that's Curse of the Wind. We can see the map, so I know it's not the other one that I'm thinking of. Ooh, he has different colour tears. Stop jumping, please. We're definitely we're better on these rooms against like um, bosses from the earlier floors. Just one target. When there's multiple targets, I freak out and I can't kill anything. Although we did all right there. Puberty again. No thanks. Once was once was enough. <laughs> this is that clone. He doesn't know what to do. He don't know what's going on. So I'd really like to go to the curse room if we got a guppy item that could be well I don't think it'd be game changing, but it could be. I kinda don't wanna let go of my black arts though. Because not dying in one shot when I walk into a room is uh, kinda nice. Admittedly we haven't taken any damage since we picked them up, but that's besides the point. Uh this is a dead end. Oh wow, a double skull X room. I'm gonna just bomb out of this. I don't really have any desire to deal with this. We don't really need our bombs for anything in particular. Oh, the eyes. Oh, they 
these enemies, they like changed it so they can jump on you even more, I reckon. Pardon. Okay, where's my tear? Where's my tear? Oh! Oh, I got fish shot. Ah! My god, this is so difficult. And there's the boss fight. We really need Krampus' head if we're gonna stand any chance whatsoever, so... We have to go through a few more rooms, unfortunately. Check for a secret room there, maybe? If we're lucky, which we're not. Please be a nice room. Okay, it is a nice room. Please don't take damage after saying that. Alright, Crimson. said. Okay, we got a bonus charge from our trinket then, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what it does. I don't know. The trinkets, it's kind of hard to tell what they do a lot of the time. It's just sort of small little passive upgrades. Um... I'm going to say it, if we don't beat Mum's Heart on this life, we're going to lose, so... Shield of Tears is kind of good. Can we just put it on top of her? Okay, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. Yeah, we got a good chance. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> the cheese is real! Oh my god, look at this shit. So if you're wondering what the hell's going on... <laughs> okay, we actually did it, I can't believe that. <laughs> um, basically because we had the shielded tears that blocks all the shots, normally she shoots like a thousand freaking bullets at you and turns it in, into, um, into Jamestown, basically. Um, which floor do I go to? I don't... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure I'm gonna get past the next boss. Either way. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's go... Ah, We'll go Satan, I guess. Whatever. We have the negative, so if we somehow pull out a victory there, we can... Maybe... Maybe see what's after. <laughs> scariest music you will ever hear. Straight up. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's not worth it. This room's gonna get really scary. Because of the spiders! No, please no, 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 no. I'm just gonna pop that. I don't care. It'll show us where the boss is. Show us what other rooms are on the floor. That's enough for me. Okay, so the boss is a mile away. <laughs> that is horse shit game. Hmm. Killed one. No! Got an instant proc off that, then that was weird. Oh, my goodness. I'm not a huge fan of this room. Out here, where is it? Oh, nearly walked in the fire. Okay, we're alive. Flat Penny! That's pretty much useless, but we'll use it to pick up some keys here. 
basically gives you a chance. I say a chance, and even though every penny we picked up there, we picked up a freaking key. But it gives a chance for a key to drop every time you pick up money. So it's pretty good. Um, we only have one bomb. I don't like trying to bomb into secret rooms on those. So we might wait. Okay, this is potentially, potentially something big. Um, blue fire is really good. If we can get some extra health here, then um, that'll be a big, big positive. We only have one bomb though. I didn't even think of that. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Oh, uh, we can't get them. Are you kidding me? We can't get to them. Okay, well, fuck that. Fuck that. That's... Oh my god, that's so annoying. And these are the worst enemies in the game. Alrighty. I'm actually going to, uh... Try and bypass that room. <laughs> See, I, I get, like, the, the placement wrong on these large rooms. Is that better? Yeah, it's more of there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll bomb our way out into this other room. Um, we do have enough to get another Krampus head charge, which is going to be worth it. We're going to die. Horrible death. This has been a really weird run, my god. This Ludovico technique and Shielded Tears. Very interesting. Alright, we got it. That's not a good drop game. I do not want that. Oh, this is a bear. Where is he? Oh, he's just right next to me. It was probably a little bit of a waste to um, get uh, Sister Maggie, but excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just figured, why not? Why not? We have all this money now. It's kind of sad, and now we have no bombs again. So, give me a bomb drop, please. Maybe we can pull out some shifty business for a win, but I really want a bomb now. Really want a bomb. Oh, the spider! I didn't see the spider. Holy crap. Okay, give me a bomb. A bomb! Okay, with a bomb. Hopefully, two spirit hearts from this from these fires would be fantastic. We got one. One is better than none. A wise man once said. Um, I don't know what's going to be the best time to use cramps. Set. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Probably don't want to use it against the first part. Rawr, rawr. I'm going to get rid of the bomb fly as soon as possible. Because that shit is scary. In the meantime, I'm just gonna die. Which is cool. I won't use it now. We have to not get hit against this shit. Yeah, well. Oh, that's pretty much the run. We have one life. Come on. Actually, we have we have two lives left. So, I'll check this room out. Nothing, nothing good. No red, red chest drops. Nothing. We have to beat Satan without taking any damage whatsoever. I don't like our chances. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, why, why run that way? Why run that way, game? Alrighty. Last run. Last life, rather. I 
like lost out here completely. I couldn't see it. Lost it. If I can keep both of these guys like feared, that'd be really good. Oh, please! No! No! Die! You should be dead! Oh my god, I'm concentrating so hard right now. Oh yes, keep doing the middle one. No, oh, left, 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 left. This would have been a great time for the glitch where you kill his second form and you don't have to fight his third form. Oh. We're dead. Oh, oh, look at that damage we were doing then. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, rip. <laughs> that is the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, people. Really, really good game. Lots of fun. Hard as shit. Um, you pretty much never know what the hell you're going to get. Uh, I've been bookcased. My face is a little bit less numb. My lisp is slowly disappearing again, which is nice. I'm going to go have something to eat. Peace.